Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. If you are new to Illustrator, the Pathfinder tool is one that you must be introduced to. The Pathfinder tool will allow you to combine and subtract shapes from each other as you are about to see. The Pathfinder tool in Illustrator can be found by going to the top menu and selecting Window Pathfinder. Your Pathfinder tool will appear differently according to what version of Illustrator you are using. There have been many updates and changes to the Pathfinder tool over the software's history. That is why I decided to review the Pathfinder tool in detail as it appears in the latest 2014 CC edition. There are many buttons in this version. In this video, I will explain every one. We will begin with our shape modes. The first button will unite your two objects. The action will preserve the fill and stroke of the most front object, as you can clearly see when I bring the rectangle to the front. The second button in the Pathfinder window, labeled minus front, is self-explanatory. The object in back will keep its fill and stroke. The third button, labeled intersect, will keep only the intersection of the two objects. The fill and stroke of the intersection will be dictated by the object placed in front. The fourth and final shape mode, exclude, will keep all but the intersection of those shapes. Like the last shape mode, the fill and stroke is dictated by the forward object. At any time, when using these buttons, you may option click on a Mac to create a compound path. When we merge our shapes using this option, we get the same results only we still have our original paths. This could be convenient if we had changed our mind about the shape or position of our original paths. Simply double click a shape to edit or reposition it. If you are happy with your compound path, you may combine these paths into one using the button labeled expand to the very right in this window. Below our shape modes is our path finders. Pathfinders will negate any stroke as they focus on the drawn vector path only. The first Pathfinder divide is self-explanatory. The second Pathfinder, labeled trim, will subtract the forward shape from the shape placed in back. The stroke of your path will not be preserved when using the trim Pathfinder. However, both shapes and their fills remain. The third Pathfinder, labeled merge, is similar to the trim Pathfinder. The Merge button will trim unlike sections, but merge shapes with the same fill. The fourth Pathfinder, labeled Crop, will produce only the intersection. The crop will be made with the forward object, and so the fill will be the same as the backwards object. The fifth Pathfinder, titled Outline, will convert your shape to its raw outline. The layering of two objects will have no effect on the outcome. However, the path will be cut at each intersection. Doing so will allow you to eliminate overlapping lines. Finally, the sixth pathfinder, minus back, will perform the reverse of the minus front shape mode. The stroke will be preserved, unlike other pathfinders. I feel as though Illustrator should have grouped this option with the other shape modes. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.